Do you know the guy who put a hollow form into a hollow form? No? Well, you are about to. Mustard piece. So I have one more piece of large wood that, uh, let's be honest, I stole from the fields. But we are not going to waste this opportunity and we are going to create something extraordinary because I don't know when I can steal another one. It doesn't come every day. So, today I designed something crazy. So basically I am going to try to put a hollow form into a hollow form. Let's go downstairs and uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so let me show you the wood that I rescued. People wanted to burn it. I'm a good person. So when you have a piece of wood, don't just put it on the leaf and start to turn it. Study the wood and plan around the wood. Here, I have to put some resin in it. I wanted to do that from the beginning anyway. Here we go, I said, still, I don't know, it's not completely sad, but I like to work with it like this. Uh, let's clean it up. So if I can teach you something about my attitude and how I do things, this is kind of the point where I just stop, take a photograph of the piece, draw it on a piece of paper, and I will design, redesign my idea around the shape. I have a very good idea. I just figured it out when I went upstairs. I don't know how to do it. I'm not sure how to do it. It's, it's pretty much impossible to do what I want to do. My idea is I am going to make two vases. This one going to be a thin live edge hollow form and I want to insert an other one inside this one exactly the same as this one except a little bit smaller. The only way I can do it 
if I break it, I'm just going to break it. Break one of them off. Okay, so I went through here, still a little bit thick, but at least we can see through now, good, let's continue. My problem of how to break it has been solved. I broke it. I broke it into many pieces. So I broke it because to be able to reach the back wall I literally have to put the chisel in to the full length. We probably still have to break it one more time. Okay, it is time to break it. I hope it is not going to break somewhere here. Put this one here to kind of support. This thing is surprisingly strong. So here, I made this epoxy glue up and this is supposed to be the core of the hollow form. I didn't record anything, I showed you many times how to pour epoxy, it's not really exciting to be honest. Let's skin it up and uh, make a mounting point first somehow. This piece is seriously messing with my mind. I usually confident, but how do I get from this one and from this one to where I want to be? I have doubts and I don't normally have doubts. I don't normally feel this way. <sighs> Let's continue.
a little bit of progress. I, I think I have to turn it around, put back the wormhole screw and turn it from the other side so I can constantly try to put on the shelf the outer vase on it but I still don't see the end of this project and it's it's normal it doesn't happen to me I'm just I have serious doubts uh, the outer shell is broken now and I am supposed to fix that but I'm not doing it doing it I'm doing something else and they're just messing with my mind So I am playing with the shapes and I have realized it looks better when it is broken. The outer piece has to be broken. I'm not going to assemble the whole thing. I'm just taking pieces of the puzzle and just put it around it and it looks much better. You will know what I mean. Let's just send it up and uh, show you later. All right, we are definitely getting somewhere, so let's just turn around and just hollow it out and uh, pretty much we are done. So literally there is nothing you can see while I am hollowing this thing because simply just not able to record the inside so I'm going to do it in like 15 seconds half a minute montage and uh, I, I hollow it best as I can but I won't be able to show you anything Mustard piece. Well, now you know the guy who put a hollow form into a hollow form. <laughs>